This mod review is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Welcome back, guys. We are here for another mod review, and today we're going to take a look at the John Deere 6000 S series. On the left, we have the 6920S with front PTO configuration, and on the right, we have the 6620. Uh, configuration with front weights, narrow tires, and I've gone ahead and, well, made it pretty dirty and pretty well worn out. It has full dirt and full wear on the right. See, bright and clean right off the factory floor on the left. Take a look at the dirt. Got some wear on the weights and around the front loader attacher. I like that we've got a toolbox there. Got some wear on the stairs and the door pillars there. Around the back, we've got some wear on the pitch and the plug areas and all of that. Some more wear on the stairs. Let's go ahead and just take a look at these things in the shop. So if we go to vehicles and then medium tractors, we're going to go over here to the John Deere 6920. $112,000, 500 if we take a look, base 138 horsepower, John Deere 8, 6R at 280 horsepower, and we have the John Deere 6M at 142 horsepower at 119,500. Now, before we look at this particular tractor more in detail, I do want to show you one little thing here in the log. I get several entries for warnings configuration name power takeoff is not defined in the vehicle xml now, i'm not really sure what that means i have tested uh, this particular tractor i've taken this particular configuration with the pto and i put a front mower on the front and i put a rear mower on the back and i went down to uh, down just you know below the hill and i was able to mow grass and both the front and the rear pto were working so I'm not really sure what that means, how much that is going to potentially impact functionality of this tractor, but that is the only issue or warning that I have seen in the log uh, in doing some testing on that. Again, if we go to vehicles and medium tractors, we are in the standard configuration, and we can change this to 360 kilogram front weights. 560, 760, 1010, or we can put front hydraulic on it. We have a choice of Trelleberg standard tires, Y tires, rear twin, twin wheels, and we get a wide and a narrow when we do that. Back to standard. Go to Michelin. We have standard, wide. Narrow tires, rear twin, twin front and rear, and we can go to Midas tires, standard, wide, rear twin, full twins, and back to standard. Take a look, we have the design, we have a standard design, and then we have Starfire, and when we add to Starfire, we get both GPS receiver at the top, and we get a Starfire monitor in cab. See the Starfire monitors added right there. Get it out, put it back in. We have engine setups. We have the 6620, base 138 horsepower. 6820 at 150 horsepower. 6920, 160 horsepower. And the 6920S, 165 horsepower. And a front loader attacher. To do that, we of course, we get the attached joints and we get this handy toolbox off to the side. have let's see can we have the front attacher and weights as well as front hydraulic 
ahead and lease this up. Getting a cab of the dirty one just real quick. Just take a look at the cab. Cab doesn't get too terrible dirty, nor does the glass. It's pretty cool. There are no mouse functions in the cab here. Everything does look nice and high quality. Going over here to the clean one. And let's turn her on. Gun cab, you can see when we turn it on, we get this green star boot screen. Then after a few seconds, it changes over to a green star image. See, we do have a nice wheel rotation. We have animated gauges as well as an LED display in cab. Cab light, the gauges do light up. Animated shifter forward and reverse. We also have animated pedals to some degree. Buttons here are lighting up when we do those. Let's take a look at the lights on the outside. We have our first stage lights. Second stage rear lights. Third stage front lights. Four ways, front and rear. Don't have reverse lights, but we do have brake lights. Left and rear blinkers. We have our beacons on top. Something else I noticed is got nice rotational rotation on the uh, the knuckle joints inside the uh, front axles. It's good to see. Overall, I think this is a pretty high quality looking mod. We've got a uh, we've got a blank license plate, which is fine. But uh, let me go ahead and just show you. Like I said, I put mowers on the front and the rear of this thing, and I was able to mow without any issue. But let's just go ahead and demonstrate that real quick. So we're just going to go down here to the bottom of the hill. Take but a few moments. You can find this mod over at modposter.com. Will be a link in the description below. And turn this on, drop it down, drop that down, turn it on. See, we are mowing both front and rear. Not really sure what the uh, what those warnings are related to. As far as in the uh, in the log file. We have a clean log the whole way through as we were taking a look at all of the different tire combinations, field configurations, and such. You guys, let me know in the comments what do you think of this John Deere uh, mod? And you can find it over at modhoster.com. Until next time, happy farming.